Now I'm going to show you how we can actually measure the parallax of those stars that you saw moving on the animated GIF in the lab folder, or the video of the animated GIF in case you couldn't get that working. And I'm going to be using my GIMP program again. I want to start by showing you how I created those images and then how you would make the measurements off of them. So that animated GIF was actually two different frames that flip back and forth. And I have those frames with a little bit of differences. So first of all, we've transformed the color so that rather than a black background, we have a white background. And instead of the stars being white, they're now red. Now this is just one of the two images. You can't tell which stars are moving on it. What I did was I took the other image and I did a similar sort of coloration except for the stars were colored blue and the background is transparent. And when I put the two on top of each other, there's going to be some locations where you see a red dot and a blue dot. And if you remember from the animated GIF, you know about what areas of the image to look in to see them. The red ones should pop out very easily for you. But from the image, you also know about how far they were moving back and forth and in which direction, so you can figure out which blue dot they match with. Once you've done that process, then we can start making our measurements. Now again, I've got my measurement tool on my toolbar here, but you could come up to Tools and Measure as well to get your measurement. You may want to zoom in a little bit more. And we're going to start with the one that's the furthest on the left side of the image and then move towards the right side of the image. And I want to remind you that as you zoom in, you want to make sure that you get your measurement tool in the very center of a star. Click drag it to the very center of the matching star, and then you'd read your measurement from your pixels down here at the bottom of the screen. That's how you make the measurements.